I awoke only to find that the rest of the world was still asleep. Painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt, and poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. A painter should begin every canvas with a wash of black, because all things in nature are dark, except where exposed by the light. Once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Study without desire spoils the memory, and it retains nothing that it takes in. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. The painter has the universe in his mind and hands. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. I love those who can smile in trouble. One can have no smaller or greater mastery than the mastery of oneself. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. I have, from an early age, abjured the use of meat, and the time will come when men such as I will look upon the murder of animals as they now look upon the murder of men. The smallest feline is a masterpiece. Art is never finished, only abandoned. If you are alone, you belong entirely to yourself. If you are accompanied by even one companion, you belong only half to yourself. In proportion to the thoughtlessness of his conduct, and if you have more than one companion, you will fall more deeply into the same plight. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so life well used brings happy death. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Learning never exhausts the mind. The knowledge of all things is possible.
The greatest deception men suffer from is their own opinions. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. Principles for the development of a complete mind. Study the science of art. Study the art of science. Develop your senses. Especially learn how to see. Realize that everything connects to everything else. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Being willing is not enough. We must do. The deeper the feeling, the greater the pain. If you cannot do what you want, want what you can do. Every now and then, go away. Have a little relaxation. For when you come back to your work, your judgment will be sure. Go some distance away, because then the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance, and a lack of harmony and proportion is more readily seen. I thought I was learning to live. I was only learning to die. One has no right to love or hate anything if one has not acquired a thorough knowledge of its nature. Great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you know it but little, you will be able to love it only a little, or not at all. You will never have a greater or lesser dominion than that over yourself. The height of a man's success is gauged by his self-mastery, the depth of his failure by his self-abandonment. And this law is the expression of eternal justice. He who cannot establish dominion over himself will have no dominion over others. The artist sees what others only catch a glimpse of. Life without love is no life at all. Iron rusts from disuse. Stagnant waters lose their purity and in cold weather becomes frozen. Even so does inaction sap the vigors of the mind. Time stays long enough for those who use it. An average human looks without seeing, listens without hearing, touches without feeling, eats without tasting, moves without physical awareness, inhales without awareness of odor or fragrance, and talks without thinking.
make your work to be in keeping with your purpose. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. All our knowledge has its origin in our perceptions. Water is the driving force in nature. God sells us all things at the price of labor. All sciences are vain and full of errors that are not born of experience, the mother of all knowledge. A poet knows he has achieved perfection, not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. Our life is made by the death of others. My body will not be a tomb for other creatures. He who thinks little errs much. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards a ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. He who does not oppose evil commands it to be done. Obstacles cannot crush me. Every obstacle yields to stern resolve. Why does the eye see more clearly when asleep than the imagination when awake? Art is the queen of all sciences, communicating knowledge to all the generations of the world. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in hopes of pulling out an eel. The acquisition of knowledge is always of use to the intellect because it may thus drive out useless things and retain the good, for nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first known. Truth, at last, cannot be hidden. Dissimulation is to no avail to no purpose before so great a judge. Falsehood puts on a mask. Nothing is hidden under the sun. While human ingenuity may devise various inventions, it will never devise anything more beautiful, nor more simple, nor more to the purpose than nature does. Because in her inventions, nothing is lacking and nothing is superfluous. If you find from your own experience that something is a fact and it contradicts what some authority has written down, 
Then, you must abandon the authority and base your reasoning on your own findings. So we must stretch ourselves to the very limits of human possibility. Anything less is a sin against both God and man.